I am not judging you, okay? And just so you know, I've had my fair share of fights with mom. I'm just saying that maybe you could give her the benefit you of the doubt. Why I'm mad at mom? Yeah, I would love to. Because I always have to be perfect, and she doesn't. I always have to have get perfect grades, and be happy all the time, and be responsible. I try to live up to her standards. Well, but that she's... must be hell for you. I've never had any hope of being perfect. Come on, nobody, nobody ever does. Try telling her I'm on that. Oh, listen to me. The, the... How can I explain this to you? The, the, the way that I think the best way to live is to be honest with yourself about yourself. Okay? If you, if you find yourself having the urge to lie and scheme and get all caught up in that whole mess, don't. I, I, I do this. I take a deep breath. And then I remember what happened with Jason. And I never, ever, ever, ever want anything like that to ever happen again. Ever. Because there is nothing worse than getting caught in a big web of lies. Nothing. Oh, Sam, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Well, it's good to see you, too. No, I, I didn't mean that like that. How's Michael? Jason managed to get him released, so he's at the quarter mates. What'll happen to him? Honey, he's 17. He technically could be tried as an adult, but I'm gonna do everything I can to see that he's in juvenile court. What does that mean? He could get six months in juvenile detention. If only he didn't leave the scene. You mean Michael's gonna be locked up? What he did was really serious. You're the DA. You, sh you can help him. I'm not his lawyer, honey. I, he needs a good lawyer. But you know judges who would listen to you. I'm afraid that might do more harm than good so right now. So you're refusing to help Michael? Nice, Mom. Thanks. There's very little that I can do. <sighs> I feel so bad for that kid. I really do. I feel bad for everyone involved, and I, I will do anything that I can to see that he gets a light sentence so the sooner this just goes away, the better it is. Look, what if Michael's mistaken? Yes, I know that he already confessed, but what, what if it was another car that looked exact, exactly like Claudia's? Doesn't he deserve the benefit of a full investigation? Mm -hmm. I think we should probably just drop it, though, because they're, I, they're, they're in the midst of looking for evidence right now, and it's pointless to speak. You have him doing time in juvenile detention. To me, it sounds like you already think he's guilty. Busy night around here. What room is Carly in? I suppose it wouldn't do any good to tell you that visitors are restricted to family members only. 421. Five minutes, or I come and take you out of that room myself. Jason. What's happening with Michael? Okay, uh, Michael has been charged, but I got him released right now. He's at the quarter main. I just want to let Carly know that he's doing it. No, no, I, I, you can't. I haven't told Carly anything about his Well, she's going to have to know. Michael confessed. I don't know if you know this already, but Claudia lost the baby. Was it, was it the surgery? No. Nothing that happened in the hospital. It was the accident. Okay, then I really, need, I really need to talk to Carly because she was at the scene. She may be the only eyewitness. Look. Jack, I don't, I don't think Michael did this. So either I need Carly to ID the car that ran Claudia off the road, or at least say it wasn't yeah, Michael. No, we can't. We can't do it. At, le at least not tonight, okay? You need to understand how serious the situation is. Carly can't have any emotional upset whatsoever. It could cause her blood pressure to spike, and she could stroke. If she finds out Michael confessed, it could kill her. Let's give Carly until tomorrow morning, okay? She needs to clear her head of everything that happened tonight. Okay, I definitely don't want to put Carly at risk. But as soon as it's safe, I need to talk to her. I need to know exactly what she saw and exactly what happened. Corinthos' older son, Michael Corinthos III, confessed to running his stepmother off the road in an act of reckless driving and was arrested at police headquarters. What makes Michael so sure he did this? Well, he was speeding on Harborview Road around the time of Claudia's accident. And what makes you so sure he wasn't the one that caused the accident? It's Carly. Her blood pressure's spiking. Hey, Carly. Jason. 
Oh, no, 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 it's okay. No, no. It's all right. What happened to him? Okay, it's okay. I have to believe you. All right, the baby's gonna be okay. The baby's gonna be okay. And that's it. The both of you, you have three minutes. That's okay. I'm calmer. It was a real shock to look up at that television and see Michael's face and to realize that the police think that he's the one right. who drove Claudia off the road right, and what just drove to away. Take it easy. Michael take wouldn't it, do it this. Okay, I got I got Matt to release Michael. He's at the quarter mains right now. Fine, then you call the police and you tell them to get over here. I want to make sure. You statement. heard Jason. Michael is fine. He's just... not fine when the cops think he did this. Carly, Michael confessed. I don't care. He's wrong. He's wrong. I was at the accident, remember? And I fought with Sonny enough over that stupid car he bought Michael to recognize it. The car I saw run Claudia off the road was not Michael's. What happened to Michael is horrible. I can't even imagine what he's going through. But honestly, I mean, what is Sonny and, and Carly thinking? They're, they're indulging him with, with this expensive fancy sports car that they just bought him a, a month out of the hospital i mean he's a brain injury that he's still healing from he's got behavioral problems he has uh, anger issues I, i'm just glad christina wasn't in the car with him how, how, do, how do you know she wasn't i mean you, it's just that you're you're so convinced that michael is the one that caused this accident you, you know it very well could have been christina who was driving too that's impossible. She took the car tonight and went to the country club. She had a fight with her boyfriend and she was all upset driving on Harbor View. She was evasive and erratic all night long. It's very possible that Christina, not Michael, caused that accident with Claudia. What were you thinking out there?